So you've decided to get started with server-side tracking. Well, then you have a decision to make. Where are you going to host your server-side Google Tag Manager container? Are you gonna host it in the Google Cloud or are you going to host it on a service like stape.io? Well, I've used both. And in this video, I'm gonna share my experiences with you and I'm gonna explain which one I would choose in all kinds of different scenarios. So let's dive in. Welcome to the channel, my name is Leon. This channel exists to help you make better decisions in your daily work using your web stats. If you want to get started with service start tracking and if you want to support me and my channel, there are affiliate links down below to a service called state.io. As I'll explain in this video, in many cases, state.io is the easiest way to get started with service start tracking. And if you use the affiliate links in the description down below, you'll support the channel at no extra cost to you. Also, I've created a short cheat sheet on how you can grow your website traffic. So if you're interested in growing your website traffic, check out the video description for the free download there as well. Let's talk about why do you need hosting server-side Google Tag Manager? Why is that needed? Well, I don't know if you've ever built your own website, but if you would build your own website, you would pick a domain name, so in my case, leonkortweg.nl, and you would pick a web host, so it's a server online, where you would upload the files of your website and um, that web host and that domain name get connected together, which means that you have a website running. Well, your server-side Google Tag Manager is kind of the same. So I have a very simple server-side Google Tag Manager container here open. And by the way, it looks very similar to a just a regular client-side container. But the difference is you have the option of clients and transformations right here to the left. So that's how you can recognize that you're in a server container. And if I had hit preview mode and if I open up Tag Manager Debug, you'll see that this is a, an application that's actually running on a subdomain of leoncortech.nl. So it's running on my own domain. And this is the whole point of server-side tracking is that you're sending the data not to Google servers or Facebook servers directly, but you're sending it to a first party endpoint, a server that belongs to you, that you are responsible for the server and you are the owner of that server. And from that, the data flows uh, onto other locations. But the first party endpoint, which is the server side container that is that belongs to you. So you are responsible for setting up that server and installing that server and maintaining that server. And that's called hosting. So hosting is no more than just getting a server, connecting the domain to it and making sure that the application runs there. All right, so that is why you need to get hosting for your server side Google Tag Manager container. And uh, then the following question, of course, is well, what are my options? Where can I do this? Where can I host my server side Google Tag Manager container? And um, there are basically three options. One question that I get all the time is, can I just use my own server? And um, the answer is you could actually do that, but I don't recommend that unless you have very specific knowledge, you have the knowledge to do so, and, and you have also the ability to maintain that over time because it's really not the default option. So I expect if you go down that route that you will find some edge cases that you need to find workarounds for. So I expect that it is a little bit more expensive on the consultancy side, on the hours that are needed to just get it up and running and to maintain it. You can do it, but I don't recommend it in most cases. There are two main other options that are really common. The first one is if you open up the documentation is hosting your server side Google Tag Manager container in the Google Cloud. If you open up the documentation by Google, a server side GTM documentation, they will list all the steps that you need to take to get it up and running and all the recommended settings, et cetera, et cetera. And also if you read things from, for instance, Simo Ahava, and or if you purchase his course, he will show you all the steps that you need to take to set it up in Google Cloud. And uh, I've done this. I've used both App Engine and Cloud Run, which are applications within the Google Cloud to host my server-side Google Tag Manager containers. And I still do so in some specific scenarios. And I'll explain that later on in the video. The other option of hosting your server-side Google Tag Manager container is through a managed service. And the one that I use is stape.io. I really like that service and their support and everything that they do for the community. So I really recommend that. And again, I have affiliate links down in the description below if you want to check them out. The advantage of stape.io, of course, is that they set up the server for you and also they maintain that server for you. So for most agencies and for most organizations, stape.io is the one that I recommend for that reason. All right, let's dig a little bit deeper. When would you use Google Cloud and, or when would you use 
Stape.io or another managed service like it. Again, I've used both. I use and I still use Google Cloud in some cases and there are two main reasons. First is volume. If you have millions and millions and millions of traffic on your site per month or per week or maybe even per day, then Google Cloud might be a more cost-effective solution for you. Please bear in mind that you also need to factor in the costs for setting up the server and maintaining that server. And those hours that you need to pay for are often not cheap. So take that into your consideration when choosing one or over the other. Uh, but in high volume cases, Google Cloud can be more cost effective than a managed service like Stable.io because the whole pricing model is based on the amount of traffic that flows through that server. The other reason to go for Google Cloud is the added flexibility. So if you want to do custom things, you want to set up your own load balancer or if you want to control the security of that server, what some people do is they make a proxy. So that means that both the website and the tracking setup is flowing, the traffic is flowing through the same IP address. And that kind of hides the traffic setup even more and therefore increases the data quality even further. If you want to do things like that, those things are only possible if you do that through the Google Cloud. The biggest downside of Google Cloud is of course that you need to do a lot more configuration yourself. You do need to do a lot more maintenance yourself. And the maintenance is not like every month, but it is maybe twice a year, maybe once a year. You need to go in, update the software. You might even want to do monitoring, like is the setup still working? Because I came across one organization where the credit card was not working and then the tracking setup collapsed and nobody noticed until a couple of weeks later. So they had like flatline their traffic. So you might need to do something like monitoring that server just in case something happens with it. So you basically are responsible for managing that server yourself. And I have found that the knowledge required to do so is often not there in marketing agencies or in marketing teams. And if it's there in the organization somewhere, those people are often doing other things. And that is why in most cases I recommend Stape.io. It might cost a little bit more in some cases. However, especially in low traffic sites, it costs less than the Google Cloud version. And that is why I recommend Stape.io in most cases. In high volume cases, it might cost a little bit more over Google Cloud, but still the benefit of just somebody else installing the server for you, managing the server for you, monitoring that server for you. Also the added benefits, the, the services that they have implemented that take just a lot more work in the Google Cloud. I found that this is the perfect match for most marketing agencies or marketing or communication teams out there. So I hope that this helps you make a decision. Again, I have affiliate links in the video description. I re would really appreciate it if you use those. It really helps me get this channel off the ground and get it just a little bit to the point where I'm not only putting money into it. Yeah, again, I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was clear. If you have any questions or if you want to see more videos on server side tracking or you have specific questions, also drop them in the comments. I might do a specific follow-up video on that topic as well. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.